Hey cookie creators and lovers alike, I'm Gabby. As my niece Abby gets older, her thirst for adventure grows. What's on her map now? Paris. So for her ninth birthday, how could I say no? Today on The Cool Cookie Show, we're making Paris themed cookies. For my bicycle, I'm going to start by flooding the base of the cookie in a white. For my soft piping consistency icing, I'm using a number one Ateco tip. And for my 15 second consistency flooding icing, I'm using a number four Wilton tip. Now I'll let this splitting dry for 6 to 12 hours before we go in and add our bicycle. I went ahead with a projector and a food coloring marker to draw guidelines for myself for the bicycle. We'll let this piping dry for 20 minutes to an hour before we finish up the final detail. This bicycle is all done and ready for a ride through the streets of Paris. For my poodle, I'm going to start by flooding the head and the body in a hot pink. For my soft piping consistency icing, I'm using a number one Ateco tip. And for my 15 second consistency flooding icing, I'm using a number two Wilton tip. Now I'll let this flooding dry for six to 12 hours before we give this poodle its fluff. We'll let this piping dry for 20 minutes to an hour before we add the final detail. This French poodle is all done. For the Eiffel Tower, I'm going to start by flooding the base of the cookie in a white.
I'll let this flooding dry for 6 to 12 hours before we apply the image of the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower is all done and ready to soar amongst the skyline. If you could travel anywhere you wanted to, where would you go? Paris? Australia? Japan? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, Click subscribe as well as the bell icon to be notified every time I upload a new video. In the meantime, here are some other videos you may enjoy. Thanks so much for watching The Cool Cookie Show. Till next time, stay sweet.